commission. And as long as that contract is renewed, you will keep getting a commission. And if you keep forcing the bullshit down people's throats, they get their kids to grow up and feed it to their kids, and you get residual tyranny, they will gladly shoot you on the side of the street because you don't give them a license fast enough. They cannot tell you why you have to produce that identification, but they will kill you nonetheless. That's why we have cops, soldiers, and tax agents. They buy into the delusion they're a citizen and, and that the government is there to protect them every damn much as the average person does. They believe this stuff. They do all the dirty work. Lenny called them useful idiots. Because they're too stupid or they're too deluded to realize what they're doing. That's why Voltaire is credited with saying, as long as people believe in absurdities, they will commit, continue to commit atrocities because the Jews were destroying the economy. Because the Armenians, I could go on. It's the nature of the job. And no one, not even Ron Paul, is going to change it. The reason why you have these atrocities is explained by the Stanford Prison Experiment. They're pretending you have a huge prison experiment that is going on right now. We're all a part of it. It's just public relations and delusions that divert us away from that all too present machine gun. Together with the Stanford Prison Experiment, you look at the Milgram Experiment. 67% of the time, you will get people to follow what an authority says simply because they have no responsibility. I can't get into all the details, but you put the Stanford Prison Experiment together with the Milgram Experiment and then with Solomon Ash's work in the Ash conformity test, and you have the stuff of nightmares, pretty much what we have in government now. And what should anger you is not the truth, that you have these experiments that are showing human behavior. Well, if we put you in the right situation, sir, you'll kill your neighbor. You'll drown children if you're in the right circumstances. The irony, which should make you really upset, <laughs> All right. <laughs> what should anger you is how they continue to laugh at us. As important as these experiments are, who paid for them? We did. They stole the money. So it's a way of saying, hey, We've got every reason why you should throw every politician in the river and abolish government now and never accept it ever again and end war in your lifetime. Right here. These are the reasons why. But you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Do you know why? Solomon Ash told us why. And I think it could be the greatest human tragedy in the history of the world. You think that not just everyone here, maybe nobody buys into this crap anymore. But according to Solomon Ash and his experiments, we're too afraid because we don't know that no one buys it. So according to the Solomon Ash experiment, which has been done, replicated many times, we will continue answering or giving the wrong answer or acting on the wrong answer because we think our friends believe it. Think of that. Think of the tragedy, all the killing that is being done because we are going to base our actions on what we think everyone else is doing. So instead of abolishing government after seeing these experiments that they stole the money for to pay, instead of throwing them out, we watch Candid Camera and we laugh about it. Oh, the guy in the elevator turned around when everyone else did. They're making fun of us. It's my opinion, anyway. They, they're doing it knowingly. It's just like the whole housing boom. We talked about this yesterday. I've spoken about this a lot. Don't think for a moment that they didn't engineer the housing boom and bust. Because they did. And anybody in the television industry knows that's true.
because you do not get all those stupid flip a house shows on the air in the middle of the boom. Doesn't happen. Doesn't work that way. That does take years of planning to do. So they engineered it. They knew what was going on. And I've heard it over and over before. As I, we talk about the government, we can't say, give me a name. You hear all those, and even Ron Paul gets these, uh, oh, the smoke-filled conspiracy crack. Oh, oh, there are guys with cigars meeting in a room, plotting destruction of the world, the Masons. Give me a name. If someone broke into your house, and you, didn't, and, and you had all the evidence of it, the dog is dead, the house is, the, 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 the door is on the floor, okay, all your pot plants are gone. <laughs> You've got all this evidence there. Somebody was in your house and took your stuff, but you don't know the name. Does that mean you weren't robbed? Somebody is raped. We don't know the identity, but all the physical proof is there. Does that mean that just because you don't know the name of the attacker, you weren't attacked? That's what they'll do to you on a radio show. Oh, not free talk live. They'll do that to you on Coast to Coast. Give me a name. Who's behind this? I don't know. I don't know. We're dealing with pretty smart people. So I'd like to respond with, look, there's a body on the floor, four gunshot wounds to the back of head. It's evidence somebody was killed and probably not with their consent. <laughs> Anybody who needs the name of the perp to be convinced somebody was murdered is either a complete idiot Although an idiot who could do really well for Fo at Fox News. <laughs> we're, program we're programmed to accept these delusions. And we're programmed mostly by the other victims. Remember the residual tyranny. You're going to see the residual tyranny all the time now. Like I said, we're forced to put children in our school in schools or concentration camps. And anyone who doubts you cannot be killed for educating your children at home, you need to go to voluntarist.com, Carl Watner, a uh, wonderful writer, wrote an article about the Singer family, John Singer. Every, anyone familiar with John Singer? He must be a homeschooler. John, they refused to put their kids in public school. They were homeschooling. Oh my gosh. And he was, he was shot. And what stunned me, I've done what I, I thought I was doing a libertarian show. And so we're, I'm discussing with the host before the show what we're going to talk about, and we just got on the thing about compulsory education. And he actually said to me, he's from Florida, but it wasn't you. So this was a, what are you, there's no compulsory education, what are you talking about? When you're five, they take your children for a few hours a day, and it lasts till they're 18. But there's no such thing. I'm thinking I'm talking to, you know, Sean Hannity's producer. What, what are you talking? What do you mean? You have to... You're going to have to show me a statue. Oh my gosh. I, don't call this show again. Get, I couldn't believe it. But, uh, oh, uh, but, but it is true. If you don't put your kids in their school, you will, they'll, they'll, they'll either take your kids or kill you in the process. Um, so, and, and, and when we believe others may accept these delusions, uh, then we tend to stick with the delusions, knowing the delusions. Uh, and, do, and do you think the parasites of society know this? Like I said, they pay for these experiments. They stole the money from us and conducted the experiments, and they know this very well. So, in reality, very few people may accept the you know, may actually accept the delusions as true. And just one real quick before I have to wrap up and go, there's evidence that they know of this, and it's right in the Declaration of Independence. They know all these scientific stuff. They know how people respond. Because they said, mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. So they know all. They, they, they know this stuff. So how do we cut through the delusions that we're bombarded with on TV and radio? And, well, of course not FTL. How do, we, how do we get through this? And this is one of the ways that I've been successful in helping people with IRS attacks. Stick to the facts. That's all you gotta do. It's that simple. If you go to the website, I have a video.